They are coming in quite heavily for this. So my god, the conflict miracle already wants to start with the static link. He'll do it over on Illidan. Now Moon, he is right on top of that rune. Now who's gonna be grabbing it? He gets a two-man crush and it does go the slaughter as well as a tiny bit moon. Can he get out of this one? Trick him alive. FNG is actually down for the count. There's a quick sound coming in, which was so much damage on the miracle. But they just keep fighting through. He's stolen 21 extra points of damage. He's got the moose speed the now. There's no soul assumption. And there's that moose speed. You say kicking him. He's at a 13 life. It's a lucky number for him right now. Running further and further away, but it's not lucky enough. The Razor will pick up one of the kills. And that is going to be a 2 0 advantage to a team that's already. By Illidan. You could kind of get away with that in this game. Oh, FNG. So much damage. The last attack from Crit's going to arrive. But the Avalanche toss plus the extra chip. Miracle made it so God's attention was pretty well focused towards the mid lane. And now that they split Illidan themselves up, Doom. so Crit's a very simple tether away. Illidan can't. Most of the time you want to be able to soak up XP in one lane and then use the burps to kind of just... No tell, he has that blink. Avalanche tosses in and that Templar Assassin just disappears. FNG's also out a little bit too far. All the balls connecting apart from one and that might just be... Okay, it was two. And two was enough to slap him down. The Tombstone will also be brought down. No one dying to heal it up. You've lost your... Oh! You ran in! The Avalanche and Toss will still be there, and Mobile he'll end oh, up dropping. No. They trigger the dust very late after his death, but it's still the kill going the way of Monkeys and this mid tower to follow. I mean, just look at that ward coverage by so difficult. No tower's about to jump himself in, looking for the big Avalanche, catches out three heroes. The Flash Where's kills the him, and two is not there just yet by Slada. Now will on the Templar Assassin, but the Tombstone is down, they cannot deal with it. The Tomb is on the Razor with no ultimate available. They leave Shallow Grave on Slada, but Miracle is just so damn low. Miracle's Flies not gonna survive. Low. Second time, there's the heal, and it finds him just enough time to survive. But you've still lost the tiny who bought back. The Wisp and Slaughter ended up dropping, and no tell, he's just hunting under after Illidan. The top, he's got the with damage. It's gonna be enough to get the kill on the Doombringer. And FNG and God, they've abandoned Roshan while Broodmother, he chased after the Dazzle, who could not keep up with no tell. No tell's back up with his mana, got himself that combo. And he can see God going in for the Ancients. He's just waiting here with the Observe Ward up, watching the rotations. I'm just saying they're not doing Roshan anymore. I think they're hoping to fade out. Don't tell, but they're gonna go for it! With the Plasma Field, that's a lot of damage. One more punch! 19 life on God, he's still on the run out of here. Miracle, oh, he needs the movement speed and he got a haste rune. The Wisp will relocate in with the Spirits. Able to find the pickoff. It's like an eight minute engagement, both teams. I don't actually think. And no tell, he just doesn't care. He jumps up after Lil with the Wisp coming up with the Spirits. They're gonna find the kill in the ball. They can get Illidan here too. They're gonna find Illidan. He'll get the Doom off on Crit versus support only. FNG wants to help out. The Doom Tone is dropped. Miracle will quickly mop this up. And Crit, the Shallow Grave will try and keep him alive. They have to get these fighters off him. He needs a couple of seconds longer and he just does not have it. They kick a G here though. This would be such a good trade for them. With the Avalanche starts. They've got it, man. Templar Assassin is down. The Doom is down. The advantage is they're so low, they just keep on respawning. But man, this Templar Assassin is zero for four. There's no momentum whatsoever coming in for God. I mean, the speed that Monkey Business is playing at is just so fast. They immediately lose three heroes. No tail buys back. He thinks to himself, okay, we'll just continue the fight. It's whatever. The relocate comes in, and then all of a sudden, everybody from Monkey Business is respawned, and they're just picking off. You think you are, so you just go for it. Middle lane looks like Illidan. The blink, crush, relocate's coming in as well, and Illidan. He gets brought down with the Avalanche toss! Oh my! The Sarge Sun's dying! They just disintegrate! What a play by Monkeys! They are just moving perfectly across this map. They are baiting BP into the fights, or taking the best chances they can find. A small advantage, and now they're even buying oh, God as well. The Observe Ward was over in the Dire Jungle. There's One your Avalanche the from Nortel. He just waits it out, but it's gonna be too long. They're taking out the towers anyway. Brood to take out the bottom, and the rest of Monkeys take out the mid. There's something so sad satisfying Toby about watching a whisk get tossed into the air and just kind of crush two heroes on the way down. We see right now, but it could potentially be five instantly. Yep. Miracle, trouble for him at the moment. This is what we're talking the about. Of the he called out three, the relocate coming from behind with the avalanche off. They can actually bring down with the cleave. Three of the heroes, VP, this is not the dream right now. The girl who's pro boss as well. The soul survivor is God. Up on the top lane, probably about to try and push out that top lane so at least he doesn't... Well, actually, no, he's still going to lose it because they can push in the middle lane and rotate up towards the top and take out the racks. The TP, however, is coming up, so it's slaughter. The blink crush, out of time. God blinks himself into the tree line and out the safety, but it doesn't matter. No-Tell only needs himself. 
take out that top rack, but he does have friends. And they're even going to find the familiars on the way back in. If they can bring these guys down before they get the, cru the crush, there goes one of your stuns. The avalanche keeps Lil away. Without that, I guess a bit. Engage. And, well, Notal wants him to group up. You could throw down sentries all you want. The obs are down as well. But Tiny's ready to jump in. And probably two, one. Okay, he just goes in with the avalanche bot and move to follow up. Illidus completely crushed off a control. But it doesn't even matter if you get a two target off. They've lost two. They've lost three. They're going to lose Garda. They may actually lose even more than this. The Doombringer was able to get us off of the tree line. They've lost the game. It's 27 to 7 is the end Dyer's score as Monkey setting one a hell of a pace here at MLG. Here at MLG. LG. More than a kill a minute so far for them. I mean, it's just so hard to keep up with that kind of style where Radiant behind early and monkey business, they just choke you out. They don't really allow you opportunities to get back into the game. They're never going to split up on the map. We saw early on in the tournament where they played against EG and you saw that moment where crit was like that. That was like the one time I saw one of their individual players get caught off. Yep. But for the most part, I mean, they just move together as a unit so well. Everyone's always there to back themselves up. Peace. Never, never cast a proper game with you. I'm always going to bring it up. At top, though, they've got the initiation that they need. Yeah, they need a little bit more, They're however. They're just going to run out. Return damage, however. Like, Fly just turns in for level 2 Shadow Wave. And the other that's coming fairly close to inflict that level of damage. And now they've burst through their south. They've got that one Tango charge left. And it's just a fallback. Crit takes the damage from the Cold Feet, but another Avalanche is going to tether himself in and fly, holding on to the heal for the moment. That's the Blast still going to fly out, but then and up into the air, talking it's about. the wire with a drop. Chris still in the tree line. He can't tether himself away here, but Illidan, he goes around the tree line. Illidan will come in to help, and the Shallow Grave is off the fly. Just in the nick of time, you've got the help from Moon, and then Crit tethers himself away on two life. He's able to live through this. And this is what I was talking about, is that when you go for the aggressive tri lane against a hero like Nature's Prophet, this is always going to happen. Here comes Nature's, Nature's Prophet. Should come in. Illidan's got no, no tangos. He can't get himself out. The Sprouts, once he gets locked in here, he's locked Where's permanently. The heal and Illidan, he's going to drop one more attack, but Kredak dies first. So it ends up being a two-for-one trade-off with the Bristleback just got soloed up by Miracle in the middle lane. That is huge, but at the same time, I really feel like that was an error. There's no way that Illidan should have been able to get away with the kill. Whisper's up in nine seconds time. Fly is coming under the cover of smoke. They're pushing out the top tower. That's the a perfect double echo save on a pro boss with the fissure. You're going to follow up with that. All right, Zoro Orchid is there, and that's a the back. The Ice Blast will connect on two players as God was trying to buy this miracle. Got to be careful. He's will break stacks. Assigned to stack up a little bit more, but then the Avalanche toss. That's that crit relocate in. God can't get himself away, and this is just a catastrophe right now for VP. This is a top six TI team just being dismantled right now. I know they haven't had the easiest go of things lately, but still Ford on the hillside. They run it up. There goes your drum charge. They're chasing up the fly. You gotta be careful of the echo. The wave of terror is out the long way and there it is. The BS actually swapping out Miracle but the relocate comes in from Crit. Trying to keep him alive. Actually tethers himself over to fly. Away from Miracle is just trapped in the middle of nowhere. But then four stops up. Still end up surviving through this fight. There's still a two for one trade off with the whisk going down. Illidan being cold and braced for the moment. But the rotation's in here from Tiny. He'll bring down the Wyvern. Dropping the Gemma through side. Illidan also tossed up into us. Yeah, like a ragdoll, and it's all up Todd, who's out of mana and out of friends. Yeah, now you're fighting 1v4, and at the same time, No Tail completes his Silver Edge. Potential. This mid tower has been taken out. That top one is. They're running in. Taking some damage. They're going on God right now. And there's that first hit. So already the Silver Edge effect. And they just swing him up in the air. God will drop so quickly. There's an evil value. Kicking in. He goes again with the second round of nature. You can at least get that curse off, but how much damage has already been done? Basically all of it. The Bristleback, he runs back in again, but Crispy Shallow Graved up. No Tell is actually fighting inside the base to help kill off Lil. God does find one outside. But it's the West Ball Lego. Uh, it's gonna be up for the Prophet now. And no tell, well, they can't keep up with God. The Nasal Goo is just too much. Miracle wants to help out, but Fissure is currently on cooldown. And this Haste Rune, well, not even Haste Rune, the Boomer Speed of God. Going so quick, Miracle just puts a stop to it. Let's off the Echo Slam. There's your jump in by Moon. And, uh, well, God's gonna drop as well. I think this may even be the game. He wants to kill on Miracle, but the Sprout will isolate him. The Fissure will stun him. They've lost everything. And this is now GG. Monkeys will end the game with almost a 40,000 gold advantage. Advantage, a hugely stacked nature's profit, and a 2-0 victory over Virtus Pro.
that was a really impressive one too. Like from the onset where they were just able to get those three kills at the top, they had full control of the map. I think they just kind of slowed down the pace of the game just to ensure that they were going to get the victory and say to themselves, let's just control ourselves. You know, we've shown that we can play that high fly style, but let's just kind of slow things down, wait things out a little bit longer and just pretty much secure the kill yeah. more than anything. It's very patient gaming from Monkey. It's it's been coordinated, it's been nicely timed and very patient more than anything else. A patient with aggression, like it's always